Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's been a couple weeks since I've done a sewing specific video. The title of this video is January Makes and Buys in line with my October, November and December ones, but as with December I didn't really make didn't really buy anything in January, so this I will just be showing you everything that I have made. But then going forward, it will hopefully become a makes and buys <laughs> once more. Um, it's just, you know, how it falls with the festive season and stuff like that. And I didn't really see anything in the sales that I really wanted because I was trying to use January as a time to set myself up with my plans and how I wanted to go forward so I can then sort of set my plans for the rest of the year. So going forward, there should hopefully be some buys in here, if they be patterns or fabric or trims or things like that. So if you want to see what I made in January, keep watching. The first thing that I made in January was a complete accident. It was um, this top that I made in this sort of lovely nude fabric, which I think I showed you guys in my um, November sewing plans. And it's really, really, really lovely cold shoulder top, but it, it completely happened by accident. It was sort of the test run for the black cold shoulder dress that I made in the 10 dresses series uh, that I was doing with William G. I am very glad that I did do it as a test run because it was initially my plan to make the dress out of this fabric, but it was just not the right kind of fabric at all. It's slightly too light for how the dress needs to like look and hang once it's done. And then also the fabric is actually quite staticky if that is even a word. Um, so it's okay as a top-ish because you can tuck it in and there's ways that you can sort of prevent it from rubbing across your whole body. But as a dress there would be no way of getting rid of that static and it'd be like clinging around your legs and just be really, really uncomfortable. So once I finished making it, I then immediately started thinking about all the different pattern hacks that I can do to that pattern, which is a Prima pattern, which as you guys know, I do love a Prima pattern because they are very simple and very easy to hack and manipulate and change to different things. And they are really great pattern blocks. And I have one um, pattern hack of this particular pattern planned in for February, which I'll talk about in my February plans video which will be up shortly. I wanted to sort of make headway on some of my make nine plans for the year and one of the big 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 plans on there and something that I have said that I've wanted to do for a long time is to make more shirts to get over my buttonholes. Uh, I wouldn't call it a phobia but it's just my severe dislike of them. So I made this beautiful African print shirt for my boyfriend and it's obviously it's a men's shirt so it has buttons galore and it's got um pin tucks just down the front which i think you can guys you guys can just about see and it's sort of pattern match down the side but fortunately enough because there's this trailing um sort of leaf print in the background of all of it the print didn't have to match 100% the main thing that I was trying to go for was to get the stars in more or less asymmetrical position because as much as they are few and far between, if one was say all the way up here and the next one was all the way down here, you would definitely notice and it would look like a bit of a train wreck. But I think it's come out really quite well. I'm really pleased with it and the buttonholes this time I managed to conquer those and they weren't too much of a hassle so I think the key as with most things is to take your time and to just not to rush it you know as they say measure twice cut once especially with buttonholes make sure you are 100% set that they are the size that you want them to be before you start cutting them open so yeah I, th I think this turned out quite well and I have some more shirts planned in for February because I am I am determined to get over this buttonhole thing and, and be the shirt making queen. So that is one of my make nine ticked off. But like I said, with my make nines, they're all inspiration based and they're gonna be things that I'm gonna carry through the year because they are all gonna be goal. All skills that I need to develop or hone 
or finesse that will get me through to my end goal for the end, my overall goal for the year which is to be self-employed by the end of the year the next two things that i made in january i really wanted to shoehorn them in so that i could tick them off my to-do list because they have been sitting on my to-do list for quite a while and i really wanted to just start the new month of February with a big step forward in the right direction and the things that I made were two new listings for my Etsy store so the first one is this crop sweater with the same little African print that I made the shirt in for my boyfriend just on a little wrist detail there and this is the ladies option and it will come in size is 8, 10, 12 and 14 but if you are larger or smaller than that then you can contact me directly and then we can discuss getting one made and then the second listing and the final make of January is the men's jumper to go up this month so once this video is posted on YouTube this listing will be up on Etsy so you can head on over and get yourselves a nice little his and hers jumper set for Valentine's Day and this will be coming in in size a small medium and large and again, if you're either one, if you're smaller than a small or larger than a large, you can contact me directly and then we can have a conversation about getting that made. So this is the men's one. So they were my makes for January. Like I said, I didn't really have any solid plans of I want to make these things, boom, 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 boom. There were just a couple of ideas, things that I had on my to-do list that were dragging on that I was like, do you know what, January, I'm not going to put any pressure on myself, I'm just going to get these things done because they are the things that are going to help me get to the next step. And then from that point, we can then plan on with all the different goals and things that I have set myself so I have a clear um, action plan, I guess, a nice blueprint for the year of what things I need to include every month into my plans and things that I'm making and how it all links in together to get into the bigger goal for the end of the year which is to be self-employed um, and if you like this video give it a thumbs up leave any comments that you have in the box below I will leave the links to my Etsy store and the extra information about the patterns that I use to make the top and the shirt down below as well yeah thank you guys for watching and thank you to everyone who has watched my other videos and subscribed since I have last posted. Make sure you like, share and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye.